Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 74. As always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, and thank you for all of the great feedback that I get uh, from all of you in the comments and so forth. And don't forget, I now have a Tumblr at jimmerlins.tumblr.com. So give that a follow if you uh, are interested in seeing occasional and more or less interesting updates uh, aside from the tip of the day. Uh, so today's tip of the day is about the new Portal 2 and related DLC for Source Filmmaker. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, it wasn't too long ago uh, that the Source Filmmaker team announced that the Portal 2 models and uh, some stuff from a game called Blade Symphony and some others would be available uh, for use in Source Filmmaker. Now, in the past, people have pulled in the Portal 2 models and so forth, but that meant you had to, like, go to the... You had to have the game, you had to go to those folders where it was all installed and pull that stuff in and so forth. It's a lot easier now because now you can actually get the content as part of uh, Source Filmmaker. Now, in order to do that, what you have to do is uh, you have to launch Source Filmmaker. There's two ways to do it. Um you can either launch Source Filmmaker, and on the file menu, there will be a, a, a an option for uh, DLC. You go there, and you just select the ones that you want to download. Or alternatively, before loading Source Filmmaker, you can right-click it and say Properties, and then go to DLC, and then select the DLC packs that you want. Right now, there's Blade of Symphony, or Blade Symphony Day of Defeat, uh, and the Portal Content Pack. Uh, available. So you would then check these things. They'll say acquisition method complementary and state if you haven't installed these will say not installed. Then when you click close, here's where a lot of people have gotten confused as far as I can tell. You have to wait until the DLC downloads. You can keep using a Source Filmmaker. It'll pause the download and you'll be like, but I don't see any of the Portal 2 models. On my connection, it took about 20 minutes to download all of, uh, all of the stuff. It was several gigabytes. So you need to wa wait for a while. You'll see down here where it says downloads. And as you can see, mine says two of two items complete. But yours will say like X of one or X of two downloading. And you can go and uh, view what's going to download and then know when all of your Source Filmmaker updates are installed. But there's an additional step to make sure you can actually access the assets in Source Filmmaker. The first time you launch Source Filmmaker, you're going to get this. Here's what I'm, I, this is how I usually launch Source Filmmaker. I just click launch. I don't go through the SDK, although there's a reason for why you might want to in the future. So Source Filmmaker is going to load here and it'll just take a moment. And after you've installed the DLC, but before you've enabled it, you may get this dialog box, which will say, the following mods were found, but are not part of the current search paths. Blade Symphony, DoD, Portal 2, Portal 2 DLC 1, Portal 2 DLC 2. This can happen because you've downloaded DLC or added a new mod manually and haven't edited GameInfo.txt to add these mods to your search paths. Okay, that's fair enough. We haven't done that. So if you want them to be part of your current search paths, and we do if we want to access the mods and the models in them, you have to quit the Source Filmmaker, launch the SDK, choose edit. Okay, I'll show you what you need to do. It's quite easy. You can just follow these instructions or you can just watch what I do and then do that. So I'm going to click quit. Go back to Source Filmmaker. I'm going to click launch. And then I'm going to click launch SDK. And that's going to say, it's going to bring up the SDK launcher. Now, typically I skip this step because... Why bother? I don't need all of this stuff. Uh, but in this case, you do. Uh, so what we're going to do is say, edit search paths for selected mod. Okay? And then it'll come up with a list of the mods that it found and whether or not they're enabled in the uh, in the game info.txt. So I'm just going to say, okay, I want Portal. I want the two Portal DLCs. I want Day of Defeat. And I want Blade Symphony. I want it all, damn it. And then we'll go ahead and launch Source Filmmaker. Now, what that did was it changed the um, the gameinfo.txt in my um, uh, in my user mod folder for Source Filmmaker and added those things. And as you can see now, we have this, and it was great. It didn't actually um, give me that error or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and open a project I already created earlier. We're going to wait for it to load the map, which will just take a moment. Doop -doop -doop -doop. There we go. So we'll position the work camera here. And I'm going to create a new camera. And we'll put that right here just so we can see what's going on. And for reasons which will become clear, I'm going to want a fairly wide angle. Okay. 
And now we can access the auto, uh, the, the, we can access the models in the uh, DLC now, including Portal 2 and so forth. So when I click this, now we can see we've got all of these additional options, all mods, user mod, TF movies, HL2, Day of Defeat, Blade Symphony. So let's go, let's do Portal 2. <clears throat> now I played with this a little earlier, so I'm not going to uh, waste your time with going through all of these things. Please have fun looking through all of these models. There's some great ones. I don't know why they called Atlas Ballbot. It's probably because they didn't choose the name Atlas until well after development had started. And there's a couple of little idiosyncrasies, like you can see that uh, his uh, his skin looks a little weird in the in the previewer, but who cares? So there's Atlas over there. And I'm going to go ahead and put him down on the thingy. And now we can see Atlas and... Just like any TF2 model, we can import a sequence. Let's say that we want to have him do his basketball taunt. That's easy enough. Click over to here, go to the regular camera, and click play, and Atlas then does his basketball taunt. Hooray. So there you go. And we can access other resources from... Uh, uh, from here, actually, I wonder what what is uh, what is Peabody's name in this? I didn't actually find out. I mean, if uh, if Eggbot, there you go, Ballbot and Eggbot. So we've got Atlas and Peabody, and so we can put Peabody over here next to him and import a sequence. Let's say have him do his his big wave taunt. There you go. So a very simple tip of the day, but shows you how to bring your uh, Portal 2 DLC into Source Filmmaker quite easily once you've downloaded it. The tricks and the caveats are you need to wait for the, for the DLC to download then you'll have to restart Source Filmmaker. If you haven't enabled them in your game info.txt, you'll need to quit Source Filmmaker, launch it from the SDK, and then choose the mods that you want enabled through the edit uh, search paths for current mod option from the SDK launcher. So that's how you can quickly and easily access all of the Portal 2 content. And uh, there's a lot of great new content that you can get with Source Filmmaker just, uh, just for the download. Uh, and if you want to do it from within... Um, the Source Filmmaker, you just need to go here to downloadable content and select download and on each of these and then click install. And it'll take a while and you'll need to t close down Source Filmmaker while it's doing that. And that can take, you know, like I said, about 20, 30 minutes. At least that was my experience. So there you go. How to get Source Filmmaker to uh, download the Portal 2 DLC and uh, let you start playing with it in your movies. I hope uh, this was helpful to you and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing and I really appreciate it. So I will see you next time for the next Source Filmmaker tip of the day. And in the meantime, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.